Welcome to our channel. Lots of summaries of interesting films. Keep it updated. Press subscribe and turn on notifications. To support us, you can like and share our videos. Enjoy watching. When Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell arrives at the base where he is scheduled to perform a scramjet flight demonstration on his motorcycle, he learns that Rear Admiral Chester Hammer Kane is on his way to terminate the program and divert funding to alternative projects. To the crew's delight, Maverick snatches the jet just as Kane arrives and launches it into the air, exceeding its initial Mach 9 projection and reaching Mach 10. Maverick wrecks the jet in an attempt to take it faster, but he is able to eject in time. Despite wanting to ground Maverick for his behavior, Kane reprimands Maverick and tells him that Admiral Tom Iceman Kazansky, a former foe and colleague, has invited him back to NAS North Island. To meet Vice Admiral Bo Cyclone Simpson and Rear Admiral Solomon Warlock Bates, Maverick travels to the base. Cyclone briefs Maverick of the work at hand while making it obvious that he doesn't see in him what Ice does. Maverick must impart his knowledge to a fresh batch of trainees in order to get them to find a way to the base and destroy it where a renegade nation is operating a uranium facility. Maverick visits a club and runs into Penny Benjamin, an ex-girlfriend he split up with a while back, much to the chagrin of her admiral father. Despite her good intentions, she ends up making Maverick purchase a round for everyone at the pub. The new class of pilots are having drinks at the same bar. Hotshot Jake Hangman Saracen, who believes he has the best chance of leading the incoming class, is one of them. Additionally, there are Mickey Fanboy Garcia, Ruben Payback Fitch, Natasha Phoenix Trace, and Bob Bob Floyd. Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, the son of Maverick's late best friend Goose, enters a short while later. Maverick's card is declined, so Penny has Hangman and Payback jokingly eject Maverick from the room. Maverick is reminded of Goose as he observes Rooster playing the piano outside, but he is still troubled by Goose's passing. Later, Maverick meets with the pilots to discuss the mission and introduce himself. Maverick's strategy to destroy the facility involves having two jets blast the entrance to the facility before targeting the base itself because it is situated deep at the bottom of a canyon. Hangman is one of the pilots who is not present on board. Because Maverick rejected Rooster's candidacy and gave him a four-year career setback, Rooster hates Maverick. Following that, Maverick continues the pilot's dogfight practice while showcasing his ability to manipulate the younger crew members. Pilots who perform poorly in their exercises are made to perform push-ups. Later, Hangman learns of Rooster's relationship to Maverick. To make up for his debt to Penny, Maverick returns to the bar. The spark between them is still there as they spend the rest of the afternoon together on her boat. In the following exercise, Maverick warns the pilots that flying too high could cause them to lose consciousness and oxygen. He also reminded them of the appropriate altitudes for their mission. Rooster is shown using a more careful approach to flying during the practice. When Hangman mentions Maverick and Goose's friendship, Rooster becomes upset and almost attacks Hangman, but the other pilots break them apart. Maverick is asked by Ice to go see him. He can primarily converse through a computer despite having throat cancer. Maverick worries about working with Rooster since he doesn't want to end up like Goose did. He manages to speak with Maverick and inform him that the young pilots need him more than he realizes. Ice instructs him to collaborate closely with Rooster. Cyclone emerges onto the runway only to discover no one is there. He discovers that Maverick sent the pilots to the beach to play volleyball as a team building activity. Which appears to be successful given that everyone is having a good time. Later, when Maverick is out with Penny, he explains that the reason he rejected Rooster's application was because his mother had begged him to take care of him before she died. The pilots then practice hitting the target at a specific altitude and within a specific window of time. Everyone is unable to finish the duty as required, and Phoenix must eject before her plane crashes. After criticizing Rooster for his approach to exercise, Maverick and Rooster argue about how Maverick is impeding Rooster's ability to fly. Warlock enters the room and interrupts them by telling them that Ice has passed away. Days later, Maverick, Penny, and the other pilots attend his burial, which is held in his honor. Cyclone makes the decision to take up Maverick's teaching responsibilities. The other pilots appear to challenge him when he suggests a different strategy. Outside, the radars pick up Maverick flying his aircraft to finish the exercise, and he makes an impressive impression on all the pilots, including Hangman, by being able to fire at the target on the ground with just a few seconds left. Maverick chooses Rooster as his wingman, and he is accompanied by Hangman, Phoenix, Fanboy, Payback, and Bob as they complete the task. 
as they approach the facility. A nearby aircraft carrier launches Tomahawk missiles at the base to obliterate the runway, sending hostile planes scrambling back in the direction of the facility. The facility is destroyed after they launch a missile, but the adversary sends additional pilots to pursue them. When Maverick's plane is shot at, he crashes as the pilots begin to fly back. Rooster goes to help Maverick after turning around. While Maverick is on foot, a helicopter starts firing at him. Rooster shoots the chopper down just in time for his own plane to be shot down, but he is able to escape in time. Reunited, Maverick and Rooster come up with a strategy for leaving. They seize control of an F-14 Tomcat after seeing it. As they take off, the opposing jets chase after them, starting a dogfight. Despite the fact that Maverick is able to kill two of them with his guns and flares, they run out of ammunition just as a third jet approaches. Rooster is also unable to eject himself, so the two accept that they are about to die until Hangman comes through and destroys the last jet. Once they return to the carrier, Maverick and Rooster are praised by their crew. Rooster and Hangman now respect one another, and Rooster sees Maverick in the same light that his father did. In Maverick's hangar, Rooster assists Maverick as he works on a P-51 Mustang. When Penny arrives, Maverick takes her on a flight in his aircraft. Next to an older picture of Maverick and Goose, Rooster places a picture of himself and Maverick, 